So the thing about learning open chords can be that you're learning them and yet you kind of wonder how far along you're getting with them or how quick they're going or perhaps you're so busy playing that you're thinking well I know I'm getting quicker but on what parts do I need to work on? So on the app guitar tune it there's a quite cool little game okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up here and you're going to open guitar tune of course go into games and you're going to see a few different options now I'm working with the free version of Guitar Tuner here, so I'm going to hit Learn Chords and you're going to see that the four basic chords are available at the top and I'm on level three at the minute. <laughs> so I haven't played this too much. So what happens is we have a chord here, G, we have a D chord and they pop up. So I have to hit whether it's D or G. And the next one I hit G, next one I hit D, and next thing it pops up E minor. So this is all to do with recognizing the chord diagrams. So we have E minor. Now I know you're watching me play the game, but this is just to explain how it goes. Okay, so the, basically this could go on all day, but I'll just finish out this round. And that was all to do with learning the chord diagrams, how they look and be, being responsive to them. Where that comes in really handy is if you have a book or you're on ultimate guitar that you can suddenly go, all right, well, that's how that looks, I got it. You'd be far quicker connecting it up. Now, the next one I'm going to go to here is learn to play chords. Okay, again, it's G, D, E minor, and C. Now, what happens with this one is, you need your guitar, and it begins. So basically, whatever chord pops up, you play it as clearly as you can. Now, a few tips for this from what I've seen in lessons is, if you go like this, it's too quick and too short a burst with your rhythm. Um, so the idea would be to go like this. And the app itself, sometimes if you're not pressing fully on a string, like for example, a very common one is your G chord with this finger, that all of a sudden, if that doesn't come out, Sometimes the app twigs it, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll see if it does it this time. Other times it kind of lets you away with it. So I'll play C and I'll go. Now, listen to the way. I don't have my last string coming out. And it kind of quits. <laughs> then we get E minor. very intelligent it will pick up whether you're missing a string or not so you see I'm missing the G it doesn't light up then it works okay about to run out of time but you get the idea anyways I'll stop playing it and um, so games can be addictive uh, that is the one where you're learning to play chords okay so it's really good now i think you need to pay to get to the next level to test out more chords but it's a i found it a really motivating way for younger students especially to have a game element to playing the chords and also to like have a thing counting down so there's not this sort of chilled out thing going i get my g now in a minute no major rush and those were the two parts of guitar tune that i wanted to share in this video very useful little games with you everywhere you go. Some of the games on it, you don't even need a guitar. Then for the ones that you do have a guitar for, it really enhances chord speed, chord clarity, and everything else in between. All right, any questions, post a comment below, and I'll be happy to answer. Catch you soon.